internet. It is Wednesday, the 25th of January, 2016. Whoops, 2017. I am gonna unbox a package from Wildhorn Outfitters. Wildhorn Outfitters manufacture a whole bunch of different uh, aqua marine equipment. One of them being the Sea View 180 degree full face snorkel mask. And that's what's in this box. Let's unbox it. Now the interesting thing about this package, whilst it does come straight from Wildhorn Outfitters in America, it's come through Deutsche Post, which means it's gone to Germany on its way to Australia. Bit of a trip there. Ah, it's got a little Ziploc bag. Be gone. This little features card, which I will read later. So it looks like two pieces, three pieces. Obviously the mask with the snorkel, GoPro mount. Remove before use, otherwise you're gonna see a white bar wherever you look. So that's pretty interesting. I'll have a bit of a read of this. And then we'll go down, I'll take a trip down to, um, well, it's pretty lousy weather. In fact, it's really, really shit out there. But I think we should go down and have a little bit of a look at it anyway. I'm gonna go down to Gary Beach in the Royal National Park and we'll have a bit of a test of this thing. They've given me a promo code to use for everyone to get a discount on their own Sea View 180 degree full face snorkel mask. And that promo code is my name 15. So Benon 15. And there'll be a little link in the description of this video of where you can click to go to buy that with the discount. When you get to the checkout, you punch in that code. And that coupon code's only valid until the end of February 2017. So I think it's from when, this, from when this vlog goes up, you'll have about a month and a half to use it. And it's only valid for the first 100 users. If more people want to use it than 100, you can't. So get in quick if you want one. Probably works for anything in their store as well if you want to try it on any of their products, but definitely for the CV180. I've kind of messed this up. I thought Gary Beach for some reason would be mellow in parts. I thought maybe at that end there'd be like kind of mellow area to just put the snorkel mask on and have a, have a look, see if it works. As it stands right now, both ends of this beach are not suitable for snorkeling at all. So I've got to think of a different option. Reckon I'm gonna go and have a look at um, Watamulla Beach. It's a more of a touristy beach, but can't quite get one though. But I think the direction that it's facing might be better for what I need. Something mellow, something sort of out of the direction of waves. So this is Watermulla and this is definitely gonna be the place to do this because it's open beachfront, but it's pretty mellow. The waves, you know, they're out there and in here is protected. The only thing about this place is it's very, very touristy. And so you get a lot of people and with people you get a lot of rubbish like, look at this crap the rubbish here i'm not going to talk about trash and about how you should take it out with you but people come on oh this looks like a decent spot to enter a nice bit of sand out there and some little rock formations to have a look at here there's a couple of crew down that end and i thought i'll just come up here to get away from them so i can be in my own space now there is a couple of things i'm not sure about with this because it's anti-fog hang on let me get the instructions out of it yeah so it says here it's got anti-fog and anti-leak technology. Does that mean that you put it on before you get in the water? Yeah, I'm assuming you put it on before you get in the water. Man, it's warm out here. Before we do get in the water, it is NSD. The only thing with NSD this episode is it's been done already. I've got a bunch of King of the North t-shirts and I've done NSD on King of the North before and I've shown you my only, I think I've shot them twice or three times and I've shown those photos to you. So if I was to NSD King of the North again with a separate, like a different shirt, it would be seeing the same photos. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'll put a little linky poo up here and you can click on that to go and see the first NSD I did with King of the North. It'll be a different shirt, but it will be the photos that I would have been showing now. And I know that I do NSD multiple times with Tracer, but that's because with Tracer, I have an endless amount of footage and photos and stories and stuff to tell. But with King of the North, yeah, I've only got a couple of sets of photos, so. Hey, there's some fish down here. This is gonna be fun. Let's get in the water. Sorry to procrastinate even longer, but I just read on the instructions. This is word for word. For an optimal experience, shave any facial hair you may have 
as it could prevent a proper seal and may cause leaking in the mask. Does that mean this is not for bearded people? That's not so cool. I don't, I, I'm enjoying this beard. I don't want to shave it off. No beard, no good. You know the song. No beard, no good. So it's got the two pieces. I'm not sure whether I should take this off each time I don't use it. It doesn't seem right to do that, but it also doesn't seem easy to transport it when it's loose. and breathe normally. Let's test it. First thing I'll say is, it's definitely a bizarre feeling breathing through your mouth and your nose underwater. The anti-fog thing, doesn't work at all, it's already fogged up. I'm gonna put it to the test and go under the water and then come back up and see how the snorkel ejects the water out. So the removal of water through the mask itself when you go under works to treat. There's one big floor. Hey, see ya. There's one big flaw that I haven't thought of before uh, investigating these things. If you're going to go underwater anywhere more than, say, a couple of meters, you need to equalize. And you equalize by blowing out pressure through holding your nose and blowing it out through your ears. Now, with this thing, clearly, you can't do that at all. While it is a pretty rad mask and it does do what it says, it's probably not suitable for any depth of dive, probably not suitable for anything more than cruising along the surface. I'm a bit disappointed in the amount of fog in there at the moment, but I'll give it another shot. So that's my first thoughts on this thing. I think it's a really good idea, but I don't think it's suitable for anyone that wants to go under the surface of the water. And I think it does mention that on the, on the brochure, to be fair. Who snorkels that doesn't go under the water? Only children, really. I mean, anyone that wants to go in and have a look will eventually want to go down a little bit. And if you go down any more than a couple of meters, you need to equalize. And you can't equalize on this because you can't grab your nose. Is there a way to make it malleable so that you can press in on that uh, I don't know. now it does have a GoPro mount so I'm gonna whack the GoPro on and then I'm gonna see the field of vision that the GoPro gets from there Well, this is quite a lovely spot. Such a good spot. I wouldn't mind doing a time lapse. What device should I use for that time lapse? How about I use an iPad? Well, Ben on, that would be a lovely idea, but how were you thinking of holding that iPad? Well, let me show you and learn you and teach you and give you a chance to win one of these. So what I have here is a Joby Griptide Pro tablet. And what it does is it grips your pro size tablet tightly and lets you do time lapses. It comes into two pieces. One of them goes on the other one like that. Then you undo this little doozy here and this thing loosens itself and you can slide in your tablet. In my case, I've got an iPad Pro, nine and a half inch, and that's all there is to it. And you can put this up anywhere for a time lapse. New subscribers to my channel, thanks very much for being along for the ride. I am giving one of these away at 500 subs and we're at 410, I think now. So when I get to 500 with your help, I'm giving one of the, not the, not the, the iPad, just the Joby Griptite Pro tablet. Thanks to Joby, I've got a fresh one in a box ready to go to one of you anywhere in the world all you have to do is help get my channel to 500 subs now
about that time lapse. I'm going to set this little bugger up, show you how it works, when it's working, how it's working, while it's working. So that's my position for that time lapse. You can really put these things in any areas. They're amazing. Joby Grip Type Pro tablet, you want one? 500 subs and someone gets one and you're gonna love it. This place is great. I'm really enjoying it. Beautiful and scenic. One thing could make it better, yada, 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 homebrew. This is that English bitter. I've had it now. Well, I've, been, I've opened it now. It has definitely gotten better the longer I've left it. It's, it's been, well, that's over the two month period now. I came down here and I forgot to bring all the batteries for this camera, the Sony RX10 Mark II. So instead of using this camera to do my motion time lapse, I'm using my iPhone. Check this out. On the Revolve motion slider, I managed to use the Joby Griptite Pro. It's so versatile. Half of it sitting on right here, holding my iPhone. My point is that I came down here on one battery. I've got four other batteries at home, fully charged, sitting on my shelf. I left them there. Who's um? I'm up. There's some guys over here in a boat with the Seaview 180 full face snorkel mask. I can see it because the thing's sticking out of their head. They're either spearfishing or snorkeling. I'd say snorkeling because it's a national park, but they're going up and down, up and down. They must be equalizing somehow. I'm gonna go over there and ask them. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel called Gives A Minute. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you're a photographer, check out my Lightroom 6 presets. Check out the previous minute there, a random minute there. Hey, it's not raining in here. That was on. Um